Hello and welcome to something that's kind of in the background. No, it's nothing nothing dodgy. It's a, a book that I found that I was given about oh years ago. And the big book of jokes and riddles. And I just thought, well let's see if I randomly just kind of turn to one and just see what I can find. I wonder how many would be politically incorrect, because this is from about 1979. His feet are so flat he uses baseballs for arch supports. Oh, oh, there goes a rib. <clears throat> His skin is so bad it looks like the relief map of a surface of the moon. Oh, I've never heard that one before. Hang on, what else have we got? His feet are so big he has to wear suitcases for shoes. Yeah, well, <laughs> small ones. Uh, now, let's, let's, okay. Doug, I make my money with this. Doug, I make money with my set of drums. Donna, oh, you play with the band? Doug, nope. My pop gives me a dollar each week not to play them. Oh. <laughs> mother, button your dress, Carol dear. Carol, but how can I, mother? The buttons are in the back, but I'm in the front. <laughs> oh my God, this is atrocious. Mother Mary, oh, Mother Mary. Mother Mary, Mother Mary, why do you yell and scream so much? Play quietly like Eddie. See, he doesn't make a sound. Mary's response? Of course he doesn't, Mum. It's part of the game we're playing. He's Daddy coming home and I'm you. What else have we got? Oh, the psychiatrist was examining his patient. How many ears does a cat have? He began. Two, the patient replied. And how many eyes does it have? Two. And how many legs does it have? Say, Dot, the patient asked, haven't you ever seen a cat? Mm. <coughs> oh, there we go. Oh, and it was so subtle, I didn't even feel anything. Oh, these are doctor-patient things. Oh, okay. Nurse, doctor, there's an invisible man in the waiting room. Doctor, tell him I can't see him. Oh! There we go. Oh, that was a slap. <laughs> well, I'm just waiting for the stick. <laughs> you need some stick with the slap so you can have some slapstick. Dentist, I'll have to fill that tooth. What kind of filling do you prefer? Patient, chocolate. Oh, well, what happens if you're allergic? Patient, doctor, I think I'm a bullfrog. Psychiatrist. That's interesting. How long have you thought that? Patient. Oh, ever since I was a little tadpole. Oh, God. Please. Someone put it in an aquarium. Okay, what else have we got? Okay, some, a riddle. Why did the simpleton polish his car with beans? Answer. Because they were wax beans. Oh, that's right. And you want to know something? There is there is a photo associated with this. Um, yes, it's there. <laughs> Why did the, oh gosh, this is all jokes about simpletons. Oh, okay. Why did the simpleton save his burned out light bulbs to use in a dark room? Oh, oh, there we are. Oh, that feels much better. <laughs> Don't quite know how. Uh, where was I? Why did the simpleton throw his watch into the garbage? Because he wanted to waste time! <laughs> oh, well, the problem is, is that, well, they say you can't get it back. <laughs> uh, let's see, okay, hang on a sec, we'll just randomly go, oh, travel ticklers. <laughs> Faye, what do you think about the Grand Canyon? Ray, it was just gorgeous. <laughs> Pop up the cringe factor. A tourist was marvelling at New England scenery. Can you tell this is American? A tourist was marvelling at New England scenery. He asked a New Hampshire farmer where all the rocks came from. A great glacier, the great glacier brought them here, replied the farmer. Well, where's the glacier now? asked the tourist. It went back for more rocks.
Okay. Well, that was pathetic. God, this tower goes back to William the Conqueror. Tourist. Why? What was the matter with it that he's returning it? You could so see where that was coming, couldn't you? Dora, tell me about your trip abroad. Dora, tell me about your trip abroad. Nora, well, we sailed on the Titanic. Dora, oh no, the Titanic sank many years ago. Nora, well, I thought the bread tasted a little soggy. Let's try for some more, hey? Okay, what have we got here? Dan, is that your dog? Jan, yes, he used to be a pointer, but my mother spoiled him. Dan, how'd she do that? Jan, she taught him it was impolite to point. Oh, hang on, there's this. All right, you, screamed the mother pigeon. Either you learn to fly today or I'll tie a rope around you and I'll tow you. Oh, mother, no, not that, cried the baby pigeon. I'd rather die than be pigeon-toed. Would that be spelled D-Y-E? <laughs> oh, no, we've got knock-knock jokes. Knock-knock, who's there? Adele, Adele who? Adele's where the farm is in. Oh, good grief. Oh, this is an oldie but a baddie. Knock, knock. Who's there? Hatch. Hatch you. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> and now the news from your local newspaper. The President of the Union is suing his members and the members are suing the President. This is liable to be the biggest union suit in history. Ms. Oscar Finchley, chairwoman of the annual fundraising tea, reported that the event had been a great success. She especially wanted to convey her appreciation to Mr. Joseph Rattlemore, used car dealer, for donating a large supply of lemons. Oh, it just gets you right in the juices, doesn't it? Oh. Mummy! No, hang on. Mummy! Manny. Oh, Manny. Oh, okay. Manny, did you hear about the burger alarm? Danny. No, what about it? Manny, the burglar didn't e hear about it either. That's why he's in jail now. <laughs> Manny, did you hear about the lady who spent weeks shopping for a colour TV? Oh, this shows its age, doesn't it? Manny. No, what about her? Manny, she couldn't decide which colour to buy. Oh. Manny. Did you hear about the waiter who got fired for spilling spaghetti on a woman's head? Danny. No, what about him? Manny. He got a job making wigs. This just goes on and on. Let's flick to some more. There's a man in Maine where his feet are so large that when it rains, he... Lies... No. There's a man in Maine that when it rains, his feet are so large, he lies down and uses them as an umbrella. And when the sun is too hot... He does the same thing to provide some shade. Seriously? These are terrible. Let's see what the next one is. There's a man in Vermont who is so tall he has to stand on a ladder to shave himself. In fact, he has to go on his knees just to put his hands in his pockets. Oh, these are just such rip-snorting, side-splitting, rib-busting chuckle inducing things aren't they i just and the funny thing is there's actually a picture bill did you hear about the dumb bandit of sherwood forest jill no what about him bill when robin hood asked him to join his band the guy went out and brought a trombone oh. the way i see it grass isn't always greener on the other side of the fence what makes you say that? I live next to a parking lot. Oh, these are just shocking. Kay, why is there such a big crowd in the lingerie store? May, there's a run on stockings. Oh. Let's try this. Paul, my cousin is able to predict the future, so he set up a little fortune-telling parlour. So, our oh, profit, eh? It's Paul, no, actually he's operating at a loss. Oh, that's enough for me. I'm just gone. Oh.
Well, while I've still got some ribs, I'm going to toddle off now. Hopefully you enjoyed that. That was kind of weird, wasn't it? I'm very good at doing weird. <laughs> Alright, as long as you enjoyed it, that's the main thing. And if you did, please do all the likes and subscribes and the bells and the whistles and all of that sort of thing and blah 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 blah. And hopefully I shall see you in the next one. Uh, maybe not another one of those. <laughs> Probably please. No, don't. We'd rather the Reader's Digests. <laughs> Alright, please take care of yourself and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Alrighty. Ciao.